brand new swim jig from Evergreen. New colors in the Evoke and Slide Swimmer from Depths. And the latest limited edition Respect Series drop from Mega Bass Japan. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. I don't even know what I'm fucking <laughs> saying. <laughs> what was that? I opened my mouth and I breathed, but nothing came out. I need to go fishing, Jeff. Uh, or, you know what, I need an Oreo. I was gonna say. It's gonna be an hour long video because I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Welcome back, motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Otaku on Instagram. Joined again. Welcome back, stranger. <laughs> I'm here again. By Jeffrey the King. We're the Hookup Tackle USA. This is Sunday mornings with Ben drinking Orion. Cheers, my friends. Welcome back, Jeff. You, would you like one? I almost thought about it. Really? Driving here today, I was like, I could maybe go for something that tastes here. different than water. I haven't put my COVID on it. Let me see what I got. Go for it. Does that taste like vacation or what? It does taste better. Than what? <coughs> Water? Uh, Life? <laughs> Catching bass? It tastes better and better the more I, I take sips from your beer. It's delicious. One day I think I'll taste what you taste. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jeff. Yeah. Good to see you. So you were off musky fishing. Yeah, I was. Minnesota. Up in beautiful Minnesota. I saw you caught one. I caught three, actually. Somewhere. No, but we don't care about the oh. first two. <laughs> I saw you caught the one. Yeah, I caught a fish of a lifetime uh, just two oh, days ago. Are we allowed to talk about it? Or is uh, this like under wraps still? Sure. I'll make a video. Okay. We're excited it. to see it. How big was the one that you got? Uh, 53 and a half inches. Congratulations. Uh, which in Good terms, and I guess bass fishing is like a teener class fish. Sick, dude. So it's, uh, it was insane. Thank you guys for being patient with me last weekend. Jeff just told me that it was a very boring, uh, live <laughs> episode. So I really appreciate that. I Jeff. did, I did catch the part where you're like, Jeff, if you're listening, I hate you. Oh, good. I caught that part. That was really the only don't thing I wanted to say and then I wanted to end it, but we had to talk about baits. All right, let's jump right in to the latest drop from Mega Bass Japan. Now, we have a ton of Mega Bass Japan stuff to talk about today. We have new Evergreen, new Depths, there's some new Daiwa, a bunch of stuff. It's, there's a lot of stuff in this episode, so stay tuned. We've got some rods at the end and stuff, reels. Okay, the brand new limited edition Respect Series drop from Mega Bass. This is GG Midnight Bone. You know what, Jeff? Why don't you do something special? Let's like wave a little wand. Okay. And I know you haven't done much haven't work done the much. last week other than catch no. one little fish, yeah. right? So here, let me make some sparkles yeah. happen or something. <laughs> make something dope and let's enjoy. Enjoy everyone.
right, great job, Jeffrey. It's good, good job. To be back. You know what? That deserves a drink. <laughs> Cheers. You want another one? Uh, no, I'm good. Do you want your own? Oh no. Okay. I couldn't finish it. I know. <laughs> All right. So there you have it. GG. Midnight Bone. Let's just run through the lineup. It's available in 12 colors now. 12 colors. Did I say that? 12 colors. I've had four sips of Orion. 12 colors. It's available in 12 baits. <laughs> okay, so GG Midnight Bone is a very special color. It was originally introduced from Mega Bass in 2002. Now, it has only been made ever up until this point in a Pop Max. So it was a Pop Max color. What Mega Bass wanted to do is they wanted to take basically GG Deadly Black Shad as the base, incorporate that kind of silverish bone kind of body structure, and then instead of the pearl white belly, give it just that kind of faint orange belly so that it is semi-transparent, it has a good profile, and then that GG coating on the side is gonna give that kind of silver and gold flash without being too intrusive, right? So this is the first time that's ever been offered in 11 of these 12 baits. Pop Max is back, but it's also available in these other baits as well. So here we go. Ito Vision 110. Ito Vision 110 Junior. Of course, the Pop Max. It's also available in the X Pod. So I know a lot of you guys know of the X-Pod, and the X-Pod is still a new one to a lot of you as well. So just to make sure you guys remember the X-Pod, the X-Pod is the amazing walking bait that Mega Bass, unfortunately they kind of, it's not really a true discontinue, they've kind of just taken it out of their core and now they're only doing special runs of it. But the X-Pod has a movable lip, so you can adjust the lip, to do different dive depths, you can push it all the way up for a true walk, and it's got that loud knock, right? Or you can push them down and you could have it more of a wake bait or slightly dive. So lots of versatility to it. So the X-Pod, also available in the X-Pod Junior. Available in the Prop Darter 80. So this is a nice finesse wake bait. Also available in the Griffin Zero. No, Griff's excited about that one. I'm gonna take this one out just because it's a slightly different pattern. All these other baits are kind of scaled and the Griffin Zero is slick. So it's gonna look just a smooth body side. So it looks just slightly different, super dope. So again, wake bait on there. Available in the Overev Crank, the ORC. The Pop X. The Deep X 100 LBO. Another little crank, the SRX Griffin. And then finally, the X80 Junior. So there you go, 12 different baits. It's also available as a full set if you guys are collecting the whole set or you know want one of each. They are not gonna last long. This is a one and done deal like all Respect Series colors. So if that color speaks to you, definitely scoop it up, grab away. Enjoy, I'm excited to see what you guys catch on it. There you go, new from Mega Bass Japan. All right guys, let's run through some Mega Bass Japan restock. Uh, just got a huge shipment in from Japan. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on some of these items. Some of these items we haven't seen in quite some time, so I'm gonna fly through them. So let's start with some jerk baits. Edo Vision 110 plus one in the saltwater colors. We see a big restock this week in these. Now, I know we've talked about this before, saltwater colors, uh, it's the same body, 110 plus one. It has just slightly heavier hooks. It's weighted just slightly different. It's gonna have the same action as the freshwater, but it's gonna be a slow sink. So instead of it being like a true suspend, it's going to slowly sink down so you can fish this in salt and it will stay down. You can fish it in freshwater, you can fish it over deeper structure, that kind of stuff. So super effective. So here we go, run through the colors. PM Hot Shad is back in stock. Pink candies, the chartreuse candies, the GLX candies, all back in stock. Akihiro Washi, Dark Knight Red, also back. So if you guys have been waiting on any of those, scoop them up while you can there. We also see a restock of some Japan only X80 trick darter colors. So MZ Secret Shadow, Stealth Wakasagi, MG Vegetation Reactor, 
those are back as well as Wagin Ayu and Gigi Oikawa from Japan. All right, back in stock this week, we see a return of the ORC burning shad. This is the Overrev crank burning shad. This is the smaller version of the Overrev. All the colors that have been out of stock return. So GP Cotton Wakasagi, Black Back Chartreuse, Chartreuse by Gil Kasumi Ito, Frozen Glass, etc., are all back. This is a really great little finesse awake bait. If you guys aren't using it, if they're feeding on small little bait, it's just a great one to wake through the shallows. So excited to get those back. We also see a new color addition in the X80 Junior. This is PM Fine Chartreuse. Now, this is the first time we've had this color in stock. It's pretty dope. It's basically a matte finish, semi-transparent, fine chartreuse color, right? So that PM stands for pearl mica, so it's kind of a pearl-based chartreuse, but it maintains its transparency. It's got that super dope matte look to it, so I know those are gonna go quick. Again, we've never had it in stock. It was available, so I snatched them. It looks super dope. We see a return this week of the Swing Hot in all the colors. This is the small pencil popper. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on some of the crazier colors, so those make a return. And then last week, we showed you guys the return of the Grand Siglet. This week, we see the return of the regular Siglet. So this is the little bit smaller one. So this is 36 millimeters, 3 16 of an ounce. Just a super dope little bait. This is kind of a, I mean, it's designed after a cicada, right? But it's just a buggy, it's just a buggy bait, right? So it's got the silicone wings that open up. So after you cast, it basically turns into a crawler and those wings extend and it just has that real buggy look on the surface. Just a little sound in there. So if you guys are after trout or fishing, maybe, you know, smaller ponds, that kind of stuff, and just need a smaller profile, the Siglet will serve you guys better than the Grand, just a little bit smaller. So those are back. All right, some restocks this week in the JDM colors of Vitalian as well as Vibration X Battalion. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on these to come back. So all the colors return, GP Baby Gill, Magakin Gill, Akatora, so on and so forth. So whether you want the small one or the larger one, those are all back in stock from Japan. And then we also see a huge restock. I try to get as many as I could because you guys have just been gobbling these up. All the Japan colors of the Knuckle and the Knuckle Junior return, okay? So the Knuckle is the square bill from Mega Bass that has that circuit board lip, so that lip kind of flexes and it kind of gives it that kind of hunt, tightens up the motion. Uh, you guys have been gobbling these up. Just to spec them out, they're very, very similar. Knuckle Junior is 55 millimeters. The Knuckle is 60 millimeters. They both weigh 3 eighths of an ounce, okay? So, and I know we've talked about this before, the front hook on these guys, so there you go. So that front hook is on a swivel as well, which is nice because a lot of times with the square bill, they just get it funky. So if you get one, you know, outside of the face or whatever and they shake, it should in theory keep it on there. But there you go. Look at the circuit board lip. You can see it's kind of a flexible lip, which just causes it to kind of push weird and hunt. So super dope bait, Knuckle, Knuckle Jr. back in stock. We also see a return of some of the Japan colors in the Giant Dog X. We see a return of Matt Tiger, as well as NC Hasu. NC Hasu is a super dope, uh, kind of clear bait with that little insert in there. So I know you guys have been you know, crushing them on the Giant Dog X. Definitely top water season, right? I wish we could get our hands on more you know, Japan colors, but they're just not making as many this year just because they're trying to keep up with production on their core, right? So when we get these colors in, I would definitely scoop them up. Don't just sit around and wait for something to come because it may not come this year. It's going to be a strange, strange year. So there you go. If you want a nice, natural, clear bay fish pattern, that one is dope. That's NC Hasu. All right, and then a couple more things real quick from Mega Bass Japan. 
we see a return of all the colors and sizes in the SV3 Slow Roll. So the Slow Roll is the Colorado Willow combination. We've been out of stock in most of the sizes and colors in this guy for a while. So we see a return of all of those this week from Japan. And then we are struggling to keep up with demand on these guys, but we did get the colors that you guys have been looking for back in stock, the three inch rock hog, green pumpkin, Moebi, Isogani, right? They're all back in stock this week from Japan. All right, brand new line from Daiwa. Last year, Daiwa introduced their highest end fluorocarbon, the J Fluoro Samurai. This year at ICAST, they released a camouflage version called the J Fluoro Samurai Hidden Concept. So same line, same formula as the original, but now in a camouflaged coloring. So the idea behind the camouflaged is if you fish aquatic vegetation, grass, you know, lakes that have a little greener tinge to them, in theory, the camouflage line should blend in even more than clear fluoro. So just gives another option. We've been using this for several months now since we knew this was become a thing. They sent us some samples. It's amazing line. Now, I posted this on my own Instagram. I've been a huge fan of Sunline Sniper for ever, basically, and still am. So that's the line that I am used to using on a daily basis. And the big thing with Sniper is it's so limp, it's so easy to cast, and I just get used to that super easy casting limpness. This is slightly stiffer than Sniper. So if you guys are Sunline guys, this is going to perform a little bit different than Sniper. It takes a little bit of getting used to on the limpness factor or lack of a little bit. But the strength and abrasion resistance of this exceeds what I'm used to with Sniper. So it's a little give and take. It's just a different line. It took me a little bit to get in, you know, sync with it but once i got in sync now i really love it i could get away with lighter sizes for heavier things so like when jeff and i were in florida you know i'd normally bring like 20 pound fluoro to throw like a mag draft freestyle or something on i was throwing on 14 and 16 pound hardly ever retied right so super dope line i think you guys are gonna love it it comes in a filler spool and bulk spool that's the new hidden concept fluoro uh, from Daiwa. And while we're on Daiwa, we see a big restock this week in the Daiwa Yamamoto Collab soft plastic. So the Nico Worms, the Fat, the Straight, all the key colors are all back in stock this week from Daiwa. All right, let's jump over to Depths Japan. Now, Jeff, I'm gonna speak your language for a little bit. Finally, here. dude. All right. Talk to me. Slide swimmers. Okay. Swim baits. I like it. Okay. So, you know, the new slide swimmer concept uh you know different construction quite a few different things you know new body condom on it right mm -hmm. but really the biggest thing is that internal kind of spring loaded weight that gives the bait the vibration we've talked about it quite a bit so i'm not going to exhaust it they keep expanding it into their color line we see the drop this week of the new color and the new slide swimmer cotton candy so basically a full clear Kind of like a morning dawn type yep, color, I was right? Gonna say. So it's really just a transparent clear, just a hit of faint chartreuse, faint or faint chartreuse in the tail, faint pink on the back, but just a very natural clear water color. Uh, you can see that spring in there, and if you listen to it, right? So as it moves, you're gonna get a little sound, but the biggest thing that that spring does is when it stops, it continues to vibrate. And it's that vibration on the stop that really, you know, Depths was going for to imitate the heartbeat or whatever, right? So there you go, brand new color in the new slide swimmer from Depths. Dude, I would drop shot that thing. You should. Yeah. I mean, it's a robot. It's the only color you need is morning dawn, right? <laughs> yeah. And while we're at it, you know, there's still a handful left, uh, you know, over there on the shelf of some of the other key colors like Seiko Trout, Pro Blue Shiner. Jeff talked about it not too long ago. Also in the 145 in the American Shad. So if you guys, you know, have been looking, there's still a couple left that you could scoop up as well as the new color drop. All right, we also see a new color drop uh, as well as a restock in the Evoke 4.0. 
So we see a restock this week of real bluegill as well as the brand new color drop in this size of scum perch. So the Evoke 4.0, this is the one that Kenta got us so juiced about, right? When he was here, you know, he's been crushing them on this thing. It's a very hard vibrating crankbait that's a true square bill, but it dives to four meters. So this is a bait that you're gonna grind into the rocks in 12, 13, 14 feet. Comes through cover great. You can burn it, you can fish it slow. It's 100 millimeters long. It weighs 56.5 grams. So it's a pretty heavy, bait right it's uh two ounces almost so ounce and ounce and three quarters so you know it's a super dope crankbait love it love the new colors and then we also see a restock this week in the gill colors in the smaller evokes as well so the 1.2 2.0 1.8 so on and so forth back in real gill all right, a couple of new colors land in the Depths Buzzjet Junior. We see the addition of real bluegill and nude black. These have both been colors in the regular Buzzjet. So now we see them land in the smaller size, which is super dope. The Junior is 72 millimeters, 14 grams, so a half ounce. And then we see real bluegill return. Uh, and we also see the brand new color drop of RF bluegill. So just a little more full-bodied bluegill in the full-size buzz jet. So if you guys like throwing, you know, buzz bait, wake bait, buzz jet's definitely something that's worth adding to the lineup, super dope. And then while we are on the topic of top water, a couple weeks ago, we brought back the, we didn't really bring it back. I just ordered the fucking things. Depths just finally made some, again, the Slither K. Okay, so this is one of the best frogs on the market for just ease of glide. So easy to walk, so easy to move. Those are all back in stock. And we see a return of my new favorite frog this week in the Depths Buster K. Okay, so the Buster K is in six colors. We see Bloody Glow, Chartreuse Pepper. We see Bone Crackle, Visible Shiner, Visible Black, and Jet Black. Now, the Buster K is a frog that I slept on for a really long time, and I've been throwing it pretty actively this year. I'd say almost every time we go frog fishing, this is probably this is the, Buster that the comes frog out. that I have tied on first, right? So I, I've just got a ton of confidence in this thing. Our good friend Kinta designed this frog. As you can see, it does have this kind of cupped lip, but you'll notice that it's very flexible. So yes, it can be used as a popping frog, but it's one of the easiest frogs I've ever used to walk. It just turns so great and has just a different sound than the Slither K does. It has the rabbit hair legs, so it sheds water very easily, so it's a very accurate cast. It does have a weight transfer in it. I don't know if you can hear that, but that weight transfer when you cast it really helps propel that frog. So for such a small profile frog, it's super accurate to cast, very easy to cast. So these have been out for a long time. I ordered as many as I get my hands on. I don't expect them to last very long. So definitely scoop those up if you've been waiting. The Buster K and Slither K, both in stock from Depths. All right, more Jeff language. Yes. All right. It. We Ooh. see a return. <laughs> oh, easy yeah, there, guy. Dude, dude you're so excited. Come do you want to talk about it? Yeah, dude. All right, here. Rat. Come on. Here. I'll sit Talk in the boy, chair. Do you want too. the chair? I'll, Hell yeah. yeah. Take it. Whole... Woo! We are back at it. We have the PB rats back in stock. We have them in the three piece as well as the two piece in multiple different colors. I crush on these baits. They absolutely get bit. They have a very, very unique sound to them, especially the three piece. All the dudes that I know that fish the three piece, they think it's one of the best rats out there on the market. You've heard it, it's got a super unique sound to it. And I honestly think it just draws the fish up to the bait. They see it and they're like, dude, I'm gonna crush this thing. Now it, it is bigger, but you can fish this in smaller ponds and those bigger fish will come up and hit it even then. Uh, I'm super glad we got, we got some of these back Yeah, in. and even though that one's you know, kind of long, they yeah. still don't weigh that much. No, dude, they're super light. Only the resin that they're made out of, it's super light. I would probably say the three piece is only like 
I don't know, three ounces or so, and the smaller two pieces, maybe like two ounces. Yeah. So super light baits, they make a great noise. They get, they have great hardware that comes with the baits. I absolutely you love really tie it on and go. Yeah, basically. And these you are can... the four new colors that we got in, which are new Let's colors see. for us. So this okay. is uh, tan with gray. Tan with gray. Mm -hmm. And then Just... that's gray and white. Gray and white. And then brown and white. I like this color. That dope. This it color is so like, sick, like dude. Athlete. Yeah. <laughs> and then brown, gray, and white. Just because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. We have a decent amount of these? Yeah. Pretty good supply. So two piece and three piece. Uh, but it's been a while since we've had it has been a while. Rats. It has been a while. So the guys have already started finding them. So they're they're going to fly yeah. out of here. So, so definitely scoop them up. If you fire rat if you guys want to try out rat fishing. We did a video. Just post it. Yeah. Where I was talking about this bait. If you guys wanted to check out that video, I'll leave a link up here. Boom. Nailed it. Um, I don't know how, how much higher or lower. But I talk about the PB rat and why it gets bit. And I even have a little fish catch in there. So if you guys are still not believers of it, watch the video and check it out. And you might become a believer. Even a musky guy can catch a musky. Dude, even a musky guy can do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. To stay on things that you're like jazz super hype beast about hype beast about did okay. i did i get that right this uh time? yeah actually you nailed it yeah. normally you say hyper beast but yeah. hype beast let's yeah. go i'm hip with the lingo now <laughs> there jeff is this gucci or louis vuitton it's kind of the same thing <laughs> right it's gizmo jeff jeff you there <clears throat> not excited uh, it's kind of like a pb rat or a swim bait um here's what's dope about this dude they're don't. new colors so you know we had like natural looking gizmos yeah right yeah but we were definitely missing a blue back chartreuse so to now there's imitate what natural food prey item oh this is like if you fish like you know how there's a lot of like uh <clears throat> warm water discharges from like nuclear plants yeah yeah blue back chartreuse gotcha you know what I mean? I figured it out, yeah. Yep. There's also, like, this was definitely a color needed. This is frog. Right? So, like, for the bugs that look like frogs. Now, finally. Right? Because you probably weren't catching them before. So, now it's, like, sick. Frog. A frog-colored one. And, you know, sometimes you just need a fucking pink. Because everything needs to be pink. So, now there's cotton candy. So, there you go, Jeff. You know, so, you could get your PB rat in your gizmo game on at the same time. For those of you that don't know the gizmo, the gizmo is this bug looking thing that, I mean, it's super lifelike when it sits in the water. It, it, it just, it lands in all the ripples and stuff and it looks just like a bug, but it doesn't do anything. So don't expect to be able to like swim it or pull it or do anything. It doesn't do shit. But if they're like actually coming up and hatching, like we sell tons of these and guys catch them on it. So don't let me talk you out of it, but you literally just have to throw it on there and it slaps the water and that. So if they're eating pink bugs or frog bugs or nuclear bugs, mm -hmm. we got you we got covered. You covered now. Thank you, Thank Evergreen. You, Evergreen Japan. Yeah, expanding the line. Boom. Well, we should go. We should have do. just started with that one. Honestly. Respect series. And then Gizmo. Gizmo. <laughs> All right, we see a restock this week of one of our most popular buzz baits finally back in from Japan. The Evergreen Loud Buzz returns. We've only had, I think, just one or two stocks of these, and we've been out for a long time. Evergreen just hasn't made them. They haven't had any inventory. So now we see a return of all the colors are back in the Loud Buzz. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting, so those return this week. And then we see the brand new edition from Evergreen. This is the latest and greatest version of the Evergreen Grass Ripper. Now, the Grass Ripper is a jig that's been in the Evergreen lineup for quite some time. It's, it's regarded as one of the best swim jigs in Japan. Evergreen got with Brett to tweak it just slightly. Basically, the tweak is on the hook. So the one in Japan has a smaller, less wide of a gap for sh for you know smaller, shorter swim baits. They went with the same hook that they have on the jackhammer, so you get that nice wider bite, so you can fit a full-size trailer on there. 
and then they matched the colors to go with the jackhammer color. So we see clear water shad, we see black blue, we see bruised green pumpkin, Be height delight, green pumpkin, white, spot remover, fire craw, Brett's bluegill, chartreuse shad. I can't believe they knocked us off of that color. They got you. You dude. make one good color, and next thing you know, it's in everything. They played you. Yeah. It does look sick in the yeah. jig, though, I doesn't like it? it, though. Yeah. So there you go. Brand new grass rivets available in a quarter, a three-eighths, and a half ounce. So there's a, a size for pretty much whatever you need. So grass ripper available now. All right. And while we are on Evergreen, we see the official U.S. introduction this week of the Shower Blows 777 or as we refer to it here in the u.s the sb 777 so we brought these to you guys maybe six eight months ago uh from you know japan we brought them in when they first released now it's going to become part of the core lineup for evergreen which is super dope so 777 is literally just that it's uh 77 0.7 millimeters it weighs just under half an ounce really kind of well, probably closer to three eighths of an ounce, okay? But it casts great, it is rear weighted in there, and literally this is kind of how Griff states it. It's kind of one of the few topwater baits that's downsized, like a miniature version, that acts exactly the same as the bigger version. So you can walk it in place, you can spit it, you can do everything you can with a full size shower blows, but with this smaller profile. So uh, with this introduction, we also see a huge restock in all of the shower blows. So all the SBs are back, 105s, 125s, as well as the new 777. Now, with all of these Evergreen products, if you have been waiting on them, you're gonna wanna grab them, okay? So we have huge orders in for all of these, but because of how things are arriving, everything's getting allocated, okay? So, you know, we may have ordered 200 bone, but we might only be getting 20 bone or 40 bone, right? So they're going to come in and go out of stock and come in and go out of stock. So just to avoid you guys missing out on them, if you've been waiting, get them. Eventually they'll all become fairly normal core and should be readily available. But for the first probably six, eight months, they're gonna be in and out, in and out, in and out. So definitely scoop them up if you've been looking for them. Another Yet one. another fucking Lexa. Brand new edition from Daiwa. So you guys know, I mean, I love Daiwa Reels and I love Daiwa USA and they probably don't love me for saying some of the things I say, but you know, there's some things I just don't get. And look, I'm just, I'm just a simple lure guy. I'm just a simple tackle otaku. I don't have to understand the grand marketing scheme of what must obviously be big, be big box, but here you go. If we, you needed a new Lexa, right? Not a replacement Lexa even, just let's add another one, right? The Lexa T-Wing. Now, it is dope. This is the first time that a T-Wing has been offered in a Lexa, so that's great. It's super cool. I, I don't know why this wasn't offered earlier, um, and I don't know why this isn't the only Lexa option. So, you know, why we have to keep the Lexa HD and the Lexa Win and now the Lexa T-Wing. I don't know, but in case you didn't have enough options, here you go. There's now a Lexa with the T-Wing. It's gonna be a great seller. I just don't know if I'm gonna sell any of the other ones now. So there you go. If you're excited, you know, pretty dope. Here, does it feel any different to you? Just to spec it out, it's 340 grams, so about 12 ounces. It's available in all the different gear ratios with the power handle, 24 pounds of drag, eight ball bearings, and they're all the CRBBs. So, you know, it's built, it's built tough. It's built with the with the new clutch and all the upgraded components, so should be dope. But there you go. Dude, one more, one more Lexa. We also see a big restock this week of some of the zillion reels I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on. Thank you guys for your real patience. Reels have been a shit show for all brands. So they come in and they're gone and then they're gone for ever. 
it feels like. So Zillions are back, Zillion HDs are back. We also see a return of the Kage MQ. Uh, now the Kage MQ is, I don't know why I held the dial aside. The Kage <laughs> MQ. The Kage MQ is the pro shop only offering. So this one you guys won't find online, but we do have them in stores so you can come in. Uh, you can call us, you can order over the phone. But the Kage MQ is super dope. We sell gazillions of these. It's a sexy, real, ultra smooth. It is mag sealed. Just got great styling to it. So these are back in the 1000s, 2000s, 3000s, 4000s, right? So all the sizes are back in those. Just give us a shout on Monday or come in this week and we can get you dialed on those. All right, while we are on reels, a restock of a super dope reel from Mega Bass Japan. We see a return of the Monoblock Special Grigio Stone. Now, Mega Bass makes these super dope Monoblock reels. Basically, the idea behind their Monoblock is similar to the concept of like a fine watch, right? Super meticulous, very tight carved out made in japan craftsmanship just super dope beautiful reels right they've got leather side plates all the little details are thought of you know metal thumb bar just exquisite styling this is basically mega bass's way of saying check out our craftsmanship right that's basically what their monoblock series of reels is for now uh, you can certainly use their the monoblocks for normal standard fishing. They are a small profile round reel, so these are gonna work best on you know some of the smaller type rods where you don't need super heavy line. They're a six eight to one gear ratio, so you know, crankbaits, jerk baits, that kind of stuff. They also are the perfect fit for the Pagani series of rods and grips if you guys picked up any Pagani. So hold on. Case in point. So you guys remember the Pagani series is kind of like the throwback series of pistol grip rods and they have the interchangeable blanks to them. The monoblock fits on them so perfect. Like this is just such a dope little combo. I feel, I feel old school and bougie as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Feel that. I just, it's cool. That's ridiculous. So if you guys picked up any of those, that is a great, just super sexy reel to have on there. Megos reels are not cheap. They're $949, but they will come with all the standard Mega Bass warranty. It looks super dope. You will be the bougiest motherfucker on the water with a monoblock. So if you're interested, we only got right hand retrieve. This time we will try to get some lefties. I'll do the best I can for you guys, but there are a handful in. So if you wanna check out something just super beautiful and amazing, there you go, in stock. All right, brand new introduction from Daiwa. I've been hyping this up a lot on my Instagram as well as on here. I told you guys last week that these would be dropping this week. A lot of you guys picked them up. I'm excited for you to get them, the brand new Daiwa Steez AGS line of rods is here. So the full line uh, is in stock now. There are casting and spinning. The Just to cover it really quick, and you guys can check it out online if you guys wanna really hyper dive into deets. Uh, but you will notice that they have gone with the split grip cork. Gone is the EVA foam, in is the cork. New lockdown reel seat, super fashionable. New air sensor, you know, grips, so they're very comfortable. They've gone with the SVF Compile X blank, so back to the super high-end premium blank. It has the X45 construction, so all the graphite is done in a 45 degree angle, which allows it to be incredibly sensitive, but super strong. So you can put these things through the paces. We've been beating them up to pieces and nobody but one person has broken one yeah weird right but other than that they're super strong you know what i mean i wonder they're amazingly strong i yeah. mean i've i they've held up to every boat flip that i've done yeah i just think if you fall and tumble down, tumble a, down hill, a little bit um, don't use the rod to break your fall yeah i don't i wouldn't use i wouldn't do that so they're not jeff shoreline approved no absolutely not so if you want to be like jeff just don't trip and fall and 
go rolling down a hill with one. With one in hand. <laughs> <laughs> you, Thank you. That was my favorite one too, dude, that you broke. <laughs> I'm glad they're out. So now I can get another one. Brand new AGS guides. So they are stronger and lighter. And honestly, this was my biggest fear were the guides. So, you know, I've, I've said it before and I, the reason why I say this is because I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm just hyping up something. I have not been a fan of Stees. Uh, I've, I've sold them since it's been a thing and a lot of guys love them. Uh, so we can, we've continued to bring them in because people love them. And I don't have to like everything people like, but personally, I've never really thought they've been right. They've been a little too soft and strange. This is the first generation that has, it's, I've been amazingly impressed with. So, you know, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Mega Bass P5. This is a perfect addition to that for me. There's a lot of holes in that P5 line, uh, especially like flipping sticks, heavier jig and worm, you know, those types of things. I can fill it now with the Steez. So just to hit a couple of key rods in the lineup, just, and you guys can dig through, the 7.4 Extra Heavy, uh, they call it the Heavy Cover Special. This is the frog rod of choice for you know decades in the line. So it's basically the same as the XBD Steez frog rod. It is back, the 7.4. There is, let me untangle. This is the 7.2 Medium. This is the moving bait special that I've been throwing all of my smaller walking baits on. So you guys know, getting back to that P5, I'm a huge fan of the Mad Bull. Right? I think that P5 Mad Bull can do like everything, especially with like half ounce to one ounce, you know, buzz baits, kick knockers, shower blows, that kind of stuff. But it doesn't do that great with that three eighths to half ounce. This one fills the gap. So your gunfish, your Sammies, your kick knocker pup, that kind of stuff, this one's unbelievable. So it's a great one. Also the 7.5 medium heavy, heavy. This is the bottom contact rod. I didn't love the old bottom contact rod. This one is actually a fast action bottom contact. So jig, half ounce, three quarter ounce jig, Texas rig, this one's dope. They brought back the 711 punching rod. So it used to be the eight foot punching rod in the Compile X, now it's a 711 so we can ship it. One piece, 711, it's got the perfect tip for flipping, punching, the best one by far and of course there's three spinning models as well there's a 71 medium light for like all around drop shot and light finesse 71 medium for your free rig and heavier drop shots so definitely check them out they're 549 so they're priced well beautiful rods super light i know you guys are gonna love them new from Daiwa. all right and while we are on rods a couple of uh restocks really quick in mega bass we see a return of a lot of the Valkyrie line, especially the 7.2 Heavy uh, is one that we've been out of for a long time. So that returns this week from Japan. We also see the Virgin Lake Casitas in the Japan Destroyer come back. This is a great all around spinning rod, great for drop shot, uh, great for Neko rig, great for Ned rig, uh, just a beautiful rod, light, uh, 610, 16th to 3 8 ounce lure rating. So those return. We also see a bunch of P5s come back this week, and specifically some of the BFS stuff. So the Pop X stick, the Siglet back in stock. So I know a lot of you guys have been getting into the BFS like we have. Those are all back this week. All right, now I have kept this under wraps this week. Uh, I was trying to save it for Sunday. Some of you guys are so good at finding things uh, that we post and you have found them. But the Arm Super Ligara are custom built rods. Uh, you can certainly order them to your specs. We have gone through and kind of ordered these the way we think they just look sexy as hell, right? So here, just so you can kind of get a look. Some of these have a matte finish carbon. Some of them have a gloss finish carbon. They are available in a left hand or a right hand. So depending on how you hold your grip, all of the ones that came in this time, we did order with the dragon on them. I mean, dude, you gotta have the dragon right so sexy lockdowns i mean nothing is spared on the building of these rods everything is perfectly put together amazingly durable blanks as well um, so this is by far the most expensive rod you're going to be in that thousand to eleven hundred dollar price point so you want to have the confidence that the rod is going to hold up and they do we 
punish these things. You guys have been punishing them. We sell tons of these things and they hold up great. Do come with the same Mega Bass warranty as all the other rods. So they're flying out of here and they're probably gonna fly out now that we are announcing that we have them. So not all the models, but the glass crank and stick, the frog rod, the 7208, the longer, the 711 crank and stick. Several models are back, super dope combinations with the carbon grips. So if you've been waiting, scoop them up. Arms rods are back. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Jeff, thanks for hanging, dude. Yeah, dude. It's good to see you. It's great to be here again. I'm excited to kind of get back in sync before you go away again. Right. So cheers to you. Good congrats on that uh, on that big one, dude. Thank you. That's super dope. So thank you guys. Appreciate uh, the business. Appreciate the support. Thank you for joining me on a Sunday morning to check out the dope stuff. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, let's drink. Cheers, my friends. You want one, Jeff? Nope. No. I'm so good. It's off gonna be that. Sunday afternoon pretty soon. Well, I gotta drive home and. Hmm. A few sips, and I'm sure a little you tipsy. Had a sip. Yeah, guys, thanks so much. Until next time, arigato gozaimasu. We'll see you soon. Peace out, my friends. Have a great Sunday.